I did it. I finished the vlog. I finished it at noon. So it should be up by one, which I'm not mad at. I wanted it to be up by noon, fully uploaded, but it's exporting right now, which is gonna take a second. I'm totally, I totally get that. And again, my fault, I should've woke up a little bit earlier, but I got it done by noon, bitch. So who finna go to brunch? This bitch. So it's lit. What's up, guys? I hope you guys liked the last vlog. I'm, I, I, you guys, by the time you guys see this, the vlog would have been up and you should have watched it. You should have watched it. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the vlog. I'm so excited that it got up on time. I'm so like, it's just a great Sunday already. So it's kind of gloomy outside. It's kind of gloomy outside, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to be cute. I'm going to get cute. I'm going to do my skincare real quick because I got to be at brunch by 1. It's 12 17. I want to hurry up and get dressed so I can upload this, have it already posted, and then I don't have to worry about that at all. I like this outfit. I feel like it's nice, cute, simple. Don't mind the couch and everything. It's not my furniture in the back. That's my roommate's furniture in the back. So don't even mind that. But. And it's my first time I get to wear my top far outside. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Of course it's me, the late friend. I just hope that they don't try to tell them that they can't sit there without me being there. Because that'll be really annoying. But. I think we should be fine. Ain't nobody said nothing, so I think we'll be fine. Okay, so I made it to brunch, but I didn't film any of the brunch, so I'm so sorry. We were talking about shit, but I didn't really film it. But you're gonna see our Shayla and Anthony right now, so I'll just show you guys them right now. But yeah, I don't really know what else I'm doing for the rest of the day. I don't think that I had anything else planned for today since I got the video up. Oh, happy Sunday. This is the place, it's so cute. Such a cute little aesthetic. Hey, puppy. So yeah, it's called Joey's DTLA. It's a cute little spot. Overall, it was good. It wasn't, <clears throat> it's not awful at all. But again, like I said, I don't really think LA has like top tier food, but I'm, I'm searching for it. I'm searching because there has to be good food here somewhere. There has to be. I haven't found anything spectacular. But now we in Macy's because I should have needed to get something. So we in Macy's right now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. It is Monday. We are here. It's another day. Another dollar to be made. I am waking up today and I don't know. It's just another day in adulting. And it's kind of wild to me. Just every single day I learn something new. Full disclosure, one of the reasons why I started YouTube was I found a guy named Mark Miller. And I probably talked about him on my channel at some point in time. But... He had just come out and he had had his boyfriend for a while named Ethan and they were just really inspiring because I'd never really saw relatively masculine presenting just regular guys because whenever I saw black guys that were gay on TV, either they were DL or they were drag queens. Whenever I saw white boys on TV, most of the time they were either just closeted white boys pretending to be straight, which is DL, but they were just act gay actors outside, but you just didn't talk about their gay part of their life. But they were openly gay, but whenever I saw them on TV, they were playing straight characters, or they were just super flamboyant white boys. There was no space in media for people who kind of fall just in between in the spectrum. like. They have, they embrace the femininity, but then they also are masculine presenting. And I felt like I aligned more with that. And I mean, I don't want anybody to think that you have to be masculine presenting to be gay. That's just where I fell in. I never felt, I never aligned with the non-binary or feminine presenting men, like androgynous men. I never was quite on that side, but I also wasn't like the guy who was like always like football and da da da. I never aligned with those either. So when I found Mark and Ethan, they were two boys who just were kind of like, we're just guys living it up, you know? We happen to be gay, but we're just guys. Like, we embrace the feminine sides of us, we embrace the masculine sides of us, and we're just out here, you know? And I really aligned with that, and I really loved that. Um, and technically, I found Mark right when him and Ethan started dating, so I... There's not many videos of Mark that were by himself anyway without Ethan. But recently they broke up 
And I knew that something was different because you know when you follow people like on social media, you can kind of tell certain things. You don't really know because you don't know the person, but you can kind of like sift through the noise and kind of either make an assumption or whatever. Well, I known that they had broken up because they said they broke up and they were trying to like figure it out, but they hadn't really been posting at all. They kept posting from separate places. And I was just like, dang, I don't think they're together anymore, dog. Like, sucks. This kind of blows. And yeah, lo and behold, Mark just made a video where he was like, you know, we're not together. But he kind of like breezed over it. Not breezed over it, but he said, yeah, it was a rough time. We're not together. That's really it. And though I, I totally respect his decision not to talk about it, like I, I totally, totally get that. Dude, you don't owe anybody that. But it kind of sucked for me because I really looked up to those guys. Like I was like, oh my God, they're gonna be together forever. They're gonna get married. I can't wait for the wedding. Da -da -da -da. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be it. And I'm assuming they probably did too to a degree, but it just showed me that nothing is necessarily guaranteed. Just yet again, another another wave of nothing is guaranteed in this life and things change and that is okay. But I think for so long in my life, I was searching for consistency. I wanted everything to be, something to be consistent. Like, okay, home life is consistent, but then I, I can focus on other things. Or when this gets consistent, then I can focus on these things. And it's it's really just trying to get your shit together all at once and really trying to make the best of what the hell you got. Yeah, like nothing ever is going to be good. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be problems. There's always going to be changes. There's always going to be new. And finding the beauty within that is the goal. But I think for so long, I was the complete opposite. I was like, there has to be something consistent. There has to be something that's constant. If something isn't constant, then I have to fix that so I can go to to other things or I have to wait till this is 100% so then I can move on to something else and that's not the case. It's just not the case. Yeah, I totally congratulate them for being able to move their separate ways and do whatever they need to do. Sucks for me as a, a consumer of their content, but I mean, still following Mark along his journey is definitely something I'm gonna do. I like, I love his channel. Just resonated with me and so that was how I started my morning and it wasn't necessarily a bad note, but it was just like, dang, you know? Lesson of the day, learning something new on a freaking Monday. Right now I am cooking, not cooking, I'm eating. I had my meal prep, because I'm about to go to the gym. I be walking around this house any kind of way, and I got whole roommates. Yeah, Um. so, broccoli. I made me some tea, per usual. But I ain't finished making it. I heated up the water, but I didn't actually finish doing the process of making the tea. We are manifesting that. I am moving into a new place. Hopefully by the end of this year. But my mom got me a Keurig and I'm just not gonna use it until I get to my new place just because I don't wanna, like we don't really have enough space for major appliances uh, in here. And then also because that's just gonna, make me want to use it at my new place. Like I just want to like take it and it'd be something that's new, not like me taking old shit. Cause I have to get a whole bunch of stuff when I move. But I want to start doing loose leaf tea. Cause I do like the convenience of having the packs, but I do want to start doing loose leaf tea. Loose leaf tea seems like it's just a step up. But it seems like you guys are liking my last vlog. So I'm excited. Um, and my last video was doing pretty cute too. So. Seems like you guys are liking that. I'm happy with it. I'm here for it. I feel like having a schedule just makes people want to tune in on that day. Like they just remember, oh, you're going to be posting on this day. Once they get into the habit of you posting on a certain day, it just builds like momentum for people to always want to check back. It's like, oh my God, I haven't seen Kaylin in a while. It's Tuesday. Let me see if you post it. So. That's it. I'm trying to make it to where vlogs are on Sundays. I have content videos. I'm trying to think either Tuesdays and Thursdays or Wednesdays and Fridays. I'm thinking Wednesday, Friday, because Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Then there's like a good schedule. It's probably going to be Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. More than likely Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Finally getting ready to go to the gym. I have a few errands that I have to run. Um, I had to write my planner and do that really quickly take a shower. Um, I take a shower before I go to the gym and after I go to the gym just because I don't like going to the gym super gross. And not even that I'm super gross because I took a shower last night. I just don't wanna go. I don't know, I don't know. 
I want to plan out all of my content that I'm going to film tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to be just a gym day and filming. And then I want to have something up by Wednesday. I'm trying to decide whether or not two videos or three videos. Do you guys prefer two or three videos? If you are, do you guys prefer two or three videos? Because yeah, three videos is seeming to be like the norm. But if you guys only want two videos like that, also I'm totally okay with that list of things I have to do. But I'm just trying to make sure it's not repetitive content. I want it to still be stuff that's like enjoyable to watch and not like a burning myself out, but also like not putting out content that you guys don't really care about. So two videos a week or three videos a week. This week is going to be kind of a busier week just because I want to get all of my filming done early because I will, I don't have a haircut appointment until next week and I go back home next week. So <clears throat> I have to get all of my filming done for this week and next week's videos done this week. Because I just want to still look cute. Even though I won't look bad. I just want to make sure I look as good as possible. <laughs> and just get them over with. Because if I film them right now. Then I don't have to worry about them. And I can edit them this weekend. And then all of my videos next week will be done. So I don't even have to worry about it next week. I can just vlog. And that be really it. The vlog might come later. Just because I don't get back until Sunday. And I want to record me going back home as well. So... Since I want to get that, because that's like something interesting. I want to get everything, all my content. I want to get all my content videos filmed this week. So then next week, Wednesdays and Fridays video. Because I go back on Thursday. So Wednesday, I'll probably just be packing and trying to chill and make sure I have everything. Yeah, and I'll just be there for the weekend. I'll just be there for the weekend. So it'll be super quick. But I just want to make sure that. I can just film for the vlog and all my other content is already ready to be uploaded or uploaded already. Trying to be more consistent this month. That's my, This month's goal is just being more consistent and stop making excuses because one of my things on my vision board over here is it says stop getting ready to get ready. And if you know you can do better, do better. Okay, but yeah, let me hurry up and go because again, time management is not something that's on my side, which is why I have a book. Finally made it to the gym. Sometimes when people do, I just get stressed. I finally made it to the gym. I was on the phone with my best friend. Kind of hard keeping up with everybody because we're all on different time zones. We all have different schedules. We all have different jobs. So yeah, being able to talk to them is kind of, and even if I talk to them like at least once a day, like I'm good. Cause it's like, it may be like a 10 minute combo, maybe a two hour combo, just depending on whatever we have going on that day. But we try to make sure we keep in contact with each other because most of my friends like live like I said across the country but we don't really live close to our parents so or our old friends or other family members so a lot of us are doing this journey alone so yeah good to still reconnect with my friends I'm not a person that keeps like a lot of like associates around not that I don't keep them around but it's just like I have such good close friends that I built a rapport with like most of my best friends have been here for at least five years so four to five years so it's kind of hard making newer friends because especially if we don't see each other often and because of the pandemic there's not really many people that I see often every single day and all of these people I saw them every single day at one point in time whether it was like we had a class together whether it's we like just lived in the same apartment complex together whether or something like that like we saw each other every single day so we were able to build that rapport so yeah I do want to make closer friends out here. I have a lot of friends out here, but it's, like I said, we don't see each other every day. I have friends out here in LA, but it's like I said, we don't see each other every day. So it's kind of hard because we all, we all have different schedules and we can't really see each other every day. And it's a pandemic. So it's like, I'm not trying to see everybody every single day because like I said, we all have jobs and I'm not trying to risk somebody else's job because I may have COVID from going here and then they get COVID for their job or they have COVID from their job and I get it's just like uh, we don't live in the same household we just don't need to see each other but once outside opens up I'm definitely going to make an effort to like really really connect with all of my LA friends because yeah we you never know the world in so yeah but let's go to the gym and then I have like I said a couple more errands and then going back home
I feel great. First of all, look, I, I feel like I look great. I had such a great workout today. I am so happy because I got to do everything that I wanted to do today. Um, normally, I mean, it's not like super busy at the gym all the time. Sometimes it feels like everybody's doing the exact same things that you're doing. And so you don't really get to use all the machines that you want to do that workout. Like that's the thing. But today I got to do everything I wanted to. I feel like I look great. I'm so happy. This is, I feel like I talk about this a lot just because like I said, I'm super proud of myself for like pushing myself and going to the gym and getting it done. And like, you know, working on my body. Like, I'm just, I'm happy. I don't want anybody to take that the wrong way and think that like, anything other than just, I'm happy about the way that I look and I'm happy about my body progress. That's it, that's it. But now I have to go do errands and be an adult. So yeah. But I had an audition today. I forgot that I, I did that. I had an audition this morning. Um, so I feel like I've been pretty productive. Like, I had an audition, eight worked out now I'm about to do some more errands the day is young it's like ah, great it's a great time now I'm about to celebrate and give myself a smoothie because I deserve sorry if you hear like a lot of noise well that's what I want that's the car I want is that car it's a g-wagon I want a g I'm gonna have a g-wagon my gold car is a g-wagon and I will have a g-wagon I swear I will have a g-wagon most of the cars but I will definitely have a g-wagon for sure in my life I will own a G-Wagon. I just have, I will own a G-Wagon. This car is awfully close to me. Like, why were they so close? Y'all see these apartments? Their balconies are huge as fuck, bro. Their balconies are huge, bro. I cannot wait. I cannot wait till I am in one of those. Cause when I have that apartment, y'all not gonna be able to tell me shit, okay? Y'all not gonna be able to tell me shit. So when I can afford a, a nice ass apartment like that, y'all, I can't wait. I can't fucking wait, okay? That's all I'm gonna say is I can't freaking wait. Ooh, my nice little G-Wagon, one of these cute apartments downtown. I could live in Glendale though. Glendale is really where I wanna live because they got better parking. But downtown is cute too. I'll take whatever, a nice apartment like that, I'll take it wherever it is, bro. I don't even care, I don't even care. The thing is, is that I know those apartments. I know those apartments cost a cute penny, but worth it, worth it. I know they probably got a cute little kitchen, cute little like appliances. I know they got like a nice little pool area, all of this shit. I want the amenities. Like my apartment right now is really, really cute. I don't want roommates, of course, but my apartment right now is cute. I do like my apartment, and I would totally stay in my apartment if I owned it like by myself. However, I want the amenities that this thing got. I know they got some cute amenities. I just know it. I just know it. Probably can't use them right now because of COVID, but when everything open up, definitely would be worth it. I got a smoothie and a ginger shot today. Also, I'm super excited because most of my family is vaccinated and I go home well my parents are both vaccinated most of my family is vaccinated so my mom is vaccinated my grandmother is vaccinated and I whenever I go back home I stay with them so that's good my best friend who I'm gonna be going for her birthday she just got vaccinated today so I'm super excited and I'm supposed to be getting vaccinated shortly so we trying to do everything get COVID free child because I'm trying to go outside okay I'm trying to go outside again I'm trying to go to concerts I'm trying to do all of that Smoothie, ginger shot. And even though I personally like spicy stuff, these things kind of rock my shit. Ah, ah. Okie dokie, y'all. We're finna go. All right, we're back. Um, I'm back up on my meal prep shit. Yup. So I got a, like a little beef burger patty without the actual bread and then potatoes, broccoli, a little barbecue sauce just to add some flavor. Um, not add flavor, but just to add a little, yeah, and then water. I'm trying to be on my healthy shit, y'all. I'm trying to be on my healthy shit because my body got to be up, especially because outside is clearly about to open. So I got to be sickening and I'm getting vaccinated. I am getting vaccinated. So that's a thing. So yeah, your boy is about to be pumping through y'all. Yeah, um, my roommates aren't here, so I can be outside. 
I even talk to you guys out here. How y'all doing? I'm using this time to vlog and talk. Cause I feel like whenever I'm like cleaning and stuff, it's like I can't really talk cause I'm trying to focus on like multiple things. And I'm also trying to like watch TV or something so I can pass the time more efficiently. This is good. I'm luckily a chef. I just don't be telling people. Cause this slaps. I can't even lie, it's super late right now. As you can kind of see out my window, it's super duper late. I was just on the toilet, just on my phone for like two hours, just sitting there, you know? Initially it was, I had to use the restroom, but then I just sat there watching YouTube videos, watching like Instagram reels, TikToks. It just got into a hole. And so, yeah, that's where we are. So I wasted a lot of time, but that's okay because I'm still, all the stuff I had to do like wasn't like time constraint. I am still gonna try to go a bit early so I can look up tomorrow though. I know you're supposed to, I know you're not supposed to talk the food in your mouth, but I don't really care. It's y'all, we homies. It's so crazy how like the world is just like, pretty wild right now. I, we're literally living through wild ass times. I feel like Texas was like the test dummy. Like Atlanta's been open. No one really was like batting an eye about that. But Texas, literally one of the biggest states continental was like, hey, we're opening, you know? <laughs> literally fuck the mask, 100% occupancy, go for it. And I think like other states are just like, you know what, screw it. We literally make the rules. And states need money and they want people to get back to work so and get off unemployment. So that's a great way to start it. But it's just kind of shitty because not everybody's vaccinated. People are still dying. I personally know people who are in the hospital with it. What the hell, man? But hopefully that means like job opportunities and stuff as well come along with that. So hopefully people, because the thing about unemployment is that it's cool and all. But right now it's just like, most of the jobs that I could possibly get wouldn't be paying me the rate that I would want, which I could get if the jobs were open because like more people would be looking for freelancers and stuff like that. But right now it's like, why, uh, honestly, realistically, like why would I go find a job that I'm not gonna try to keep like working in like a grocery store? It's like, I've done that before. I'm not shading anybody who's done that, but it's like, if I'm going to sit up there and make less money than I'm making at unemployment, that's kind of stupid to me. Now, people who didn't lose their job, that's one thing. You know, like, you never lost your job. I wouldn't tell you to quit. But for people who, like, lost their job, like me, it's like, why would I? Which is kind of why states are like, okay, open shit back up. But it all goes back to, like, you should just be paying people more in general. Like, fuck, like, essential workers should just be getting more money. Like the people who are literally putting their life on the line should get more money. Thankfully I can't Uber, but honestly it's like, if you're gonna pay me $12 an hour, it's like I was barely making rent then. It's like, I may as well figure out how to like do my creative ventures with the little money that I do have rather than occupying all my time to still make less. Like. That's how I personally feel. And also because, to be honest, I've been working since I was 16. And I've never taken a break. There was very little times where it was just like I didn't have a job. And I wasn't in school or something. And I was always doing something. If if it was like I didn't have a job, it was like I was super active in school. I was doing something while I was working on campus, you know? Like I was always having a job. So I just feel like, I paid some time, man. I'm going to get mine. Because the government and jobs are scamming me anyway. So I'm gonna at least take the money that they say I qualify for. And when I don't qualify for it no more, I just don't qualify for it no more. I'm hoping, again, Lord bless me with like a TV show. <laughs> this starts taking off. Uh-uh. Because -uh. I definitely, definitely want to be working and doing something I like to do. Rather than going back to like retail. Because I absolutely hated that. And it just wasn't fulfilling me. And I would love to make content that helps people, inspires people, whatever the hell, and love doing it and actually make stuff that I feel is meaningful rather than doing jobs just to make ends meet. But you know what? We're gonna, it's going to happen. I've been manifesting that and putting in the work and I'm hyping myself up because that's all I got. Like, of course, y'all hype me up, but in the everyday, a nigga be feeling like defeated sometimes. <laughs> And sometimes I just need a little bit of motivation. But I've been recently like hyping myself up and just like making sure that I know my worth and that I know my talents, I know my skill sets. And 
perfecting those and honing in on those and just nurturing those more. And then also like doing the work, like just doing the shit, like making videos. It's like, I wanna make content. Of course, like, because this does take a long time, I want to get paid for it. But this is unrestricted, un like, this is just you guys seeing my, na like, my life. And it's still meaningful because, again, like I said in my last vlog, 10 years from now, YouTube is still a thing. I want somebody to be able to look at these videos and be like, oh, my God, you know, like, he was broke as hell during pandemic and made it, you know? Like, he came from XYZ and is here, you know? Like, I've watched this man and, like, this is inspiring to me, you know? You guys don't know everything about my life, and that's that's intentional. But still being able to see, like, you know, I had roommates, and I had roommates, I've had a lot of roommates. I've had roommate issues, I've had money issues, I've had, like, car issues, I've had friends issues, I've had all these things, and so, like, you're not alone, you know? Like, that was, that's how I found YouTube, and that was the thing that I used YouTube for. So, just getting back to the fact that why did I start my YouTube? I was like, hey, I want to do XYZ things. And in the meantime, when I would look up celebrities that I love, like Denzel Washington or Viola Davis, it's like, you do have the interviews, but they were before social media. They're like, or Taraji P. Henson, or all of those great black actors. I, when you look up the Wikipedia page, it's kind of like they graduated college, a little bit apart where they like, oh, they were miscellaneously doing shows and da 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 But then like they had their big break four years later or five years later, six, whatever years later. And that's how we see them now. But we don't really know the in-between. We don't know the struggles. We don't know, yeah, who they were before. And this allows me to, one, make that kind of content because I do, I want to look back on it. I, I feel like when I look back at my old videos, I'm like, oh my God, that's where I was. I was going through that. Next week, I'm so happy I made it. Like, at that point in time, I didn't think I was going to make it through that, but here I am. And that pushes me, which is how I know that I like, I at least like my content, which is, which is great. You know, that's the, the goal is that at least I like my content. Like, I hope that you guys like it and it resonates with y'all, but I got to like it as well. But again, the other issue, the other thing is that I do want you guys to be able to see this and just feel like you have a friend, feel like you have somebody that's going through similar things as you feel it, or just see somebody that looks like you. Cause hell, seeing black gay boys on YouTube is not necessarily normal. Like there's not many of us, um, there's not many of us on here and there's not many of us that, I mean, I think my channel is thriving and I only, like I said, I think my channel is thriving and I have a small amount of followers, but I don't really see people even my size. Like I see a few people here and there, but I feel like there should be more. Like there's hella non-black creators, white, specifically white creators. There's hella white creators. There's hella other, just non-black creators in general. But I feel like black boys and black gay boys is very sparse. And I really wanted to represent that in the best way possible that I know how. So yeah, that's the thing. But back to fuck the government. It's always straight about the feds, fuck the government, period. So, fuck the government. They should pay people more. $15 an hour is literally still chump change compared to people who are making two, dollars $300,000 a year to dictate whether or not I can fucking make $15 an hour minimum. Like, that's crazy. I really just be... I, if I could wake up on the first alarm, I would be so good. But I just be... My sleep self and my awake self... Two different motherfuckers. And clearly my sleep self doesn't give two shits about what I have going on in my life. So I need to set like a second alarm or something and like make myself get out of the bed because the first alarm clearly isn't working. And honestly, it wasn't really my fault because it, it was my fault. But I woke up at like 3, I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I couldn't go back to bed until like 4.30. I woke up at like 2.30. And couldn't go back to bed until like 4.30, 4, 4.30. So when I was trying to wake up at 6.30, it wasn't happening. It just wasn't happening. And I was so pissed because I hate waking up in the middle of the night. But it's okay because we're still going to get all the shit that we need to get done. Period. Get her done. Doja released the video yesterday. So I got to review that because I know it's good. I just know it is. Because the bitch always does cute shit. She's a Libra. So I expect nothing less but quality. Because that's a Libra. And that's just on period. Like, I'm sorry. If you don't like Libras, unfortunately, you need to seek help. And that's just something that you need to worry about on your own. But 
Doja always gives you quality. Doja always gives you the looks. Doja always gives you the video. She gives you the bars, of course. Now, granted, I don't really care for the street song, but I know the video is going to be cute. So that's what I'm here for. Oh, y'all. I didn't even make it to the gym today. That's how hectic it was. Like, editing really wipes me out. And then I had to eat again. I had to catch up with my parents. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to Uber. Uh, cause, and I'm going to eat again. But um, I had to Uber. I'm about to Uber. I'm about to Uber right now. So, yeah. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow, though. Because, like I said, I'm trying to do four to five days max. And I already went once yesterday, which is Monday. Didn't go today, Tuesday. But Wednesday, Thursday, I'll go. Friday, Saturday, I'll probably. Friday, I probably won't go. But Saturday and Sunday, I'll probably go. So, yeah. I don't know what that's for. I'm just, I don't really, I don't know. I am a little masked. I'm about to go drive these people around. Look, y'all. I'm making chips. I tried this when the oil wasn't hot enough, but I'm going to use the rest of these in here. And I got, so you guys can see, yeah, they little three squares. Focus. Yay. This yeah. So, yeah. I'll show y'all in a second. And, yes, I know you probably can see the, like, little pieces in there that's from chips that i made earlier today i was still using the same grease though if your grandma didn't tell you to use the same grease she didn't tell you to do the right thing i'm sorry to tell you see look at them oh here i flip them too and i definitely burnt myself on the last one so i'm gonna have to just show y'all when i get done with these and salt them once you get them i just put them in this little thing kind of toss them around with some salt that's what you get sorry y'all my camera died, so I'm charging one of the other batteries as well. But yeah, get one other meal prep down. I better be a sickening bitch by the time. I can look around. I told y'all sometimes that you with my hands. And I'm kind of lifted. <laughs> I'll prep down. I will be a sickening bitch. Good morning, good morning. Hey guys, clearly it's not 6 a.m. But you know what? I'm honestly not even gonna beat myself up this morning because I've done significantly well because I was literally so mad that it was like 9.30 and I was just waking up. And I had to be realistic because I came to this realization literally just this morning. I've never, ever been a morning person. Like ever, like I've literally never ever been a morning person. I mean, honestly, I'm doing great compared to even just last year because last year I was, I was happy if I woke up before noon. Getting out of bed before noon was the goal. You know, one o'clock was the average. And now I'm up and out, I'm eating breakfast in the morning at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., being happy with that. I can be so hard on myself because I feel like my life should be X, Y, Z. I feel like my life needs to be doing, I need to be doing X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Be here, here, here. Is that my bowl? If a habit isn't broken within a week, then you suck. And it's like, no, my guy, like, that's not how that works. Like, I'm doing my best. Because right now, because I've been consistently doing this for like two, three weeks, honestly, th almost a month. Waking up at 10 is super easy. Waking up at nine is honestly really a lot easier. Like, I can do it. I just sometimes just want to sit in bed for like 30 minutes, but I can do it. And by 10 o'clock, I'm like, Ugh, girl, you got to get out of bed. Also, this week's video is going to be because it's a it's been a year since I've been in quarantine. LA locked down around the first or second week of March. And like, that's when I like the first week that it locked down, I like went like ghost. Because as you guys know, I have HIV. So that's a pre-existing condition. And I was like, oh shit, like I need to like hide. I And I was doing a lot of things that interacted with people. So my job literally was retail, Uber, all of the things and acting hadn't picked up because people I think were, people especially like on shows and stuff like that were already cast and if they weren't cast and trying to get greenlit, I think they were already getting one like, hey, you might wanna wrap it up. I was lucky feeling lightheaded, so this made me feel a lot better. Yeah, so since it's been a year, I decided that I was gonna do like, because I didn't do a New Year's video. Normally I do a New Year's video. But this year I didn't do a New Year's video just because it didn't really feel like the new year. Like it felt like a continuation of 2021. So I was like, okay, I'll do 
a year. I also turned 25 in quarantine. So I was like, I can do 25 things I've learned at 25. Or I could do just like my year in review. Like what I've learned. What I wish I would have known. <sighs> Man. My head still kind of hurts. You know when you like don't drink enough water? Especially like before you go to bed and then like you wake up like low key hungover, like dehydrated. That's how I'm feeling right now. Ooh, I am feeling like kind of wonky. It was also raining today. I think it's raining today, like in general. Like you can see how. Can you see that? Like, is that all the way up there? Like that's crazy. I'm gonna write in my planner. I'm gonna go about my day. I have some errands to run. I'm gonna go to the gym, obviously. I'm gonna see my friend Evan, which is gonna be fun. Hang out with Evan. Yeah, I'm about to be today. But good morning. Good morning. Put you on the boat. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in So I low-key got lost. And I'm like going to the gym, but it started raining and I don't fuck with LA drivers. In order. Like, I don't really live for LA drivers in the rain because LA drivers are already pretty dicey. But in the rain, niggas just really be not doing it. And full disclosure, someone told of my car in the rain. I was literally overdriving and this girl hit my car from behind, told of my entire car. It was awful. It was awful. So, yeah, and though I am technically driving right now, I was on the freeway and I, like, had thought about, like, vlogging. And I was like, oh, no. I was trying to do that for a second. Not working. It was cute while it lasted. Cute while it lasted. So, I just had an interesting interaction where I was wrong. I was dead-ass wrong. I was dealing with customer service people and I was dead-ass wrong on something that was going to charge me an extra, like, 200 bucks. Which, $200, I don't technically have just to throw out there. But I was like, oh no, like y'all fucking up. This is y'all da 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 da. Um, and then I went back and looked through the contracts that I had signed, which A, always keep your contracts, always read through them the first time. Don't be like me and wait till the second time. But it was under my, I, people had told me the wrong information and I went with it. But also it wasn't like they told me the wrong information. They basically just wasn't extremely specific. And I didn't read the contract, so therefore I made it up in my head that I could do something that I couldn't do, um, or that they were supposed to do something that they weren't not supposed to do. So, yeah, basically I was dead ass wrong. I went back and looked through it, and I apologized. I told them, I was like, hey, you know what? Like, I totally will eat the cost. Like, I'll have to just figure it out on my end, but I'll eat the cost, and I totally get it. Like, that was my fault. You know, word, bit. And... I wanted to say that just because, like, I don't ever want to think... Like, I feel like people just need to normalize that. I feel like people need to normalize, like, if you're wrong, like, apologize and move on. Like, just, you know, deal with the situation that it is. But just apologizing, admitting where you were wrong, and moving on is, like, that's totally fine. Like, that's the adult thing to do. Um, and it just, like, adds, I don't know, like, respect. Like, I feel like... When I was working, especially in customer service, and customers would be kind of irate and then, like, be like, oh, my bad, that was me, my fault, you know. Okay, you know, I respect you a lot more, and I'm totally willing to deal with you again, you know, and still help you out. But, like, when, or even just, like, friends or any relationship where it's just, like, you apologize to somebody because you are, you may have interpreted something wrong or you were actually, you thought they were wrong, but then it was actually you that was wrong, that's okay, like, and it's not, like, something that the other people need to, like, if you're that person that's, like, see, I told you, like, da-da-da-da, it's, like, you don't have to necessarily do all of that, but you can just be, like, okay, yeah, totally, you know, I respect you or you apologize, especially if it was, like, kind of hostile. If it was, like, jokey-jokey, then, you know, you'd be, like, I told you so. But if it was hostile and it was, like, a moment, you know, like, hey, that takes a lot of growth to be able to just apologize when you're wrong. And I feel like a lot of people need to grow the hell up. I need to grow up in some ways, too, but everybody else, yeah, if you do that, Please grow up. Apologize. It's the nice thing to do. You guys, I literally left my fucking headphones at the house before I got to the gym, so fuck me. Fuck me. Hopefully it's like a relatively decent day 
with music at the gym. Sometimes they be having key music, sometimes they don't. Oh my god, okay, oh my god. I was literally getting in my car. I had such a good workout Let me just say that I did have such a great fucking workout like whoo legs feel nice and tight I can't wait for you guys to be there with me like during the summer. Like I literally know during the summer We're gonna have a good fucking time when the world opens up. We're gonna have a good fucking time I just want you to know that cuz I'm gonna feel sickening. I'm gonna be vlogging shit I'm definitely gonna like travel more um, because again, the world could end at any fucking point in time. So I need to get out there and see it. Um, but I was going to say, I was so sad because oh, I was going to say, because I was so sad because I got to my car and this guy, he's sleeping, he's homeless. I'm not going to show him because like, that's just, I feel like that's just kind of problematic. But this guy is sleeping. He has like this RV that he parked here. He's sleeping outside. I guess he fell asleep in his chair because he wants to get some air or something. But like... You can clearly see, like, this is where he lives. However, he's sleeping, and there was a rat on the ground just kind of crawling around, and it's like, ugh, that's... That fucking sucks. Like, if I saw a rat in my house, I would I would lose it. So, just to be, like, having to be so comfortable with rats outside because L.A. is so fucking dirty, because you're homeless, ugh, that sucks. I don't wish homelessness on anybody. Like, my... Even though, yes, I was technically homeless, I don't wish that on anybody, like... I was living in my car and I really thought that it was just like, it was whatever, it's fine. It doesn't mean it was, it worked, I survived. However, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Like, God, that fucking sucks. And especially because of the pandemic, there's been so many people who are homeless. And it's like, fuck, fuck, that sucks. Ugh, that sucks. And I, again, I can't help him, so I definitely don't want to like show him or like his environment. I'm just like, ugh, I feel so bad. Uh, I feel so bad. Hey y'all, I'm back. I am eating my meal prep because um, I'm really trying, y'all. Y'all know. Y'all are my witnesses that I'm really, be I really trying to be on this healthy shit. Did I eat candy today? For sure. For sure. But I was hungry and I wasn't home. I'm like, gas stations don't be really having that good of uh, like snacks, healthier snacks. But bitch, I'm not going to eat. Kind bars every day. I'm just not. Also, I don't want to promote that you have to do that in order like, to live a healthier lifestyle. Like, I don't also want to promote that like you have to do that in order to live a healthier lifestyle. Like, I feel like making small habits, that's the issue with like a lot of people in like diets and like losing weight and all that shit. Yeah. They feel like they have to starve themselves my fucking roommate is here so that mean i can't film ghetto no okay. so yes i was gonna film tonight as you can see the stuff is there behind me but that's just not gonna happen um and that's okay you know because we can film in the morning it's fine uh I'll get out of here one day, I promise. But for right now, I can at least plan out my video more thoroughly, you know? Make sure the video is great because I always wanna make sure my videos are top quality and this just gives me another way to do that. I'm gonna go see Evan. This is the fit, oh, this is how she's looking. Got my toffee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this adorable ass dog. This is Rocket. Rocket, say hi. I'm screaming. I love it though. The Dallas. I love it. I love it. Hey, puppy. Hey. Hey, you. What's the puppy's name again? Beckett. 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 You're so cute. I know that I'm probably extremely late to the fan, like to the club, but 
This show is fucking wild. I don't know if you guys see this. It's Family Guy. That's what, there you go. This show is goddamn me wild. I'm gonna get something from 7-Eleven. But the thing is, is that like, like Hollywood. Hi. What is just so many different characters in Hollywood? Like Hollywood is kind of dicey at night. I'm not even gonna lie to you. At night, Hollywood can be kind of dicey. But it's cute. It's like, it's definitely one of those places where it's like, if I lived here, if I, I would live here if I worked in Hollywood. Like a lot of the studios and stuff aren't technically in Hollywood. Like some of them are. But some of the major studios that people work at every single day could be like in Culver City, it could be in Studio City, could be somewhere the fuck else on location. So unless I was like dedicated to working, unless I was like actually like booked on a show that was like at a studio in Hollywood, I wouldn't really see any reason to live here, me personally. Because they're gonna tax you too. They're gonna tax you so fucking much money just to say you live in Hollywood. But y'all ain't got parking. It's always traffic. It's random motherfuckers everywhere all the time. And you just, to say you live in Hollywood, that's the only reason. If I was first moving out here, like if I would have had the money, like when I first first moved out here, if I got a job and that's what made me move out here, I could totally see myself like just being like, oh, I'm gonna live in Hollywood. Cause I would think Hollywood is just the thing to do. But it's like right now, what I'm really trying to do is live in Glendale, bitch. Glendale or downtown, that's really where I want to live. Glendale, because it, one, has more parking just in general, like if I have friends over. And then two, affordable, they have affordable luxury apartments. Like, And when I say affordable, definitely not like back home affordable, but still relatively affordable, especially for California, luxury apartments. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what we're trying to do right now. the only ones that made it. Bow family guys. I got it. Au revoir friend. Yes. This is me. It was. I'm looking for some popcorn. That's what I'm looking for. How do they end up here? I just really want snacks. I told y'all I don't have snacks in my house. And I really needed some snacks right now because I don't want to have like a full meal. Even though I could, but it's like, I'd rather have just a protein shake and call it a day. But I do want like a little snacky snack. Ooh, here they are. These shits, man oh man. You try them, you're gonna let, thank me later. Just don't buy them all because these are always the ones that are gone. But yeah, it's raining. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go and slumber. I'm gonna be not, okay? So I'll see you in the morning, okay? Because this quality is awful and I just don't want that to be part of my ministry, okay? Goodbye. Love you. <laughs>
terrible roommates and we just like argued and like were very tense with each other the entire time until they left and it's just like I don't want to deal with that like I just don't want to deal with that I would rather just be like you know what screw it I'm gonna just get my shit done so I can get out because clearly I just don't need to have roommates like I don't like having roommates even just the fact that they exist like even in days where it's just like they're not necessarily loud it's just sometimes the fact that they do have extra friends over and I'm just like bro like why do you why can't you go to your friend's house like why do your friends gotta be here why when your friends is homeless they gotta live here and again I've been homeless so I get it but it's like they've been here for a year like I understand like maybe a month or two like totally totally get that but like it seems like these niggas have been here since the pandemic started and it's like okay so do, are they not trying to find a place like do they not have anywhere else to go why was that not a conversation that we had why are they just here like you know like that's what it is it's like again I totally get it niggas be homeless again I get that but like bro like this is kind of crazy and it's like he's had so many people over it's not even just like friends that i just think maybe not need a place to stay every now and again it's like he's had his family staying there and it's like why don't you have your family you have roommates dude like so i just need i personally just need to depart like that is just what it is i need to just leave and that is gonna happen soon that's the thing is i'm i'm gonna be working my ass off because I just need to get out. We out here, gym done, period. Beautiful day out in Los Angeles. I'm feeling productive. You know, the gym really is self-care, goddammit. Y'all, I just left the gym, and I was, I was gonna eat my meal prep today, but I, this is just not giving. It's just not giving what I want right now. And I'm like running out, like I'm on the last meal, and I'm just kind of tired of eating that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get me some catfish. So that is to let you guys know that not every day I eat healthy. Not every single day. Fried food is definitely sometimes there. It keeps you thick. Argue with your mother. Hi there. I want to place an order. So right now I'm just planning. I'm waiting on this temp food to get here. Planning this video. Uh, they said it should take like 10 minutes. So I got a little bit of time. That was that that was easy. That was easy. Now this food should be ready. Okay. Now I'm about to go back to my house because I'm not necessarily too far from my house and it's like I would I would eat in the car, but I'm I literally am going straight home. And I have some seasoning that my uncle makes that is gonna be fire on this. So I just know I should just wait. So I'll see y'all in two seconds. So this ain't what it come in, of course, but I put it in this seasoning. It's fire. That's all I gotta say. My uncle, he make it because he's cool as hell. He just makes a lot of shit. And yeah. You're back. Bye. Just got back home. I put the season on. And of course, I gotta devour this kind of fast because I'm losing sunlight. Honestly, I might just shoot this after the sun sets because I'm not going to make it. But I like shooting without the sunset. I like shooting outside of sunset or like when the sun is setting because I don't feel like dealing with the light. Dealing with the sunlight and my roommate coming home right after. Super annoying. Ugh, and this is good as hell. Okay, I have finished filming and now I'm about to Uber. Um... And yeah, go for the night. I do have coffee because I didn't drink any caffeine today in my pre-workout. 
I didn't have any pre-workout actually, so I didn't have any caffeine today. And this is going to help me through the tonight for these few hours. And then I'm gonna definitely go to bed, but yeah. Okay, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, to my baby. I am 100% naked right now, but I'm finishing editing this video because I need to be done with this video. I worked all last night, so it was just like, I wasn't gonna really show y'all. I mean, I was in the car driving, so it was just like, it wasn't that, that pivotal of anything. Um, I look a mess right now. I had finished, I stayed up like pretty late trying to get this done, so of course I didn't wake up on time, but I was trying to finish this video and get this up so this could be done by noon. This will definitely be up by noon today, and then I will have this vlog tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more content today just because I don't want this, this vlog to be a bust. I feel like I did a decent amount, but I was working so much that I really didn't have time to talk to y'all. I feel like I say that right now, but then I'll look back at the footage and be like, oh, bitch, you did talk, so it's okay. But, yeah, I still have to finish this, and then once I finish this, um, I'm going to go make a Target run, and then I'm going to start Uber. All right, bitch, I'm that bitch. I finished it. It's done, so I'm lit. Woo! Okay, so now I'm going to so try to do some other shit. Video's done. Video's uploaded. I'm so fucking happy, and I still got to edit the vlog. But we finna do some shit today, and then I'll have this vlog up tomorrow at noon. So, yeah. Period, period, period. Do y'all hear these people that I live with? They were louder earlier, but I guess they're trying to tone it down now. I already told them to turn it down today. And like, this is one of those moments where it's like, I naturally want to cuss everybody out. But what does that solve? Nothing. That means I just need to hurry up and finish this video and leave. Leave. All right, so now I'm about to go get some food, go to Target, and then, actually I'm gonna get some food, go to the gym, and then go to Target, so then I can bring the stuff back here, take a shower, and then Uber some more. Um. I just got that video done. Got to talk to my bitch Kayla. So I'm excited. I got my ticket. Um, what is it? I'm getting my ticket back home. So yeah, next week I'll be back home, which I'll vlog all of that. I'm so proud of myself. I got the video done. Really, I was kind of stressed, but I got that bitch done. So I'm lit. Next week's video are going to be a lot more lighthearted. This video, this, this week was a little bit more... This video was technically supposed to be done on Tuesday. I want to do like more kickback videos, talk videos on Tuesdays, the funnier videos on Friday, vlogs on Sunday. That's what I'm trying to get like in the habit of, but sometimes like reaction videos end up be, like, I mean, it was on that day. So it was like, ah, well, um, and normally music is released on like Thursday, Friday. So that's why I was thinking like reaction videos could also be on Friday. But yeah, without further ado, we finna go. So yes. Um. The other thing is that it's like, I don't want people to think that like, I hate my roommates because like, they're honestly not the worst that I've ever had. However, it's just like, they're extremely loud. And my big thing is neither one of us should have to not be at the house because they're like, usually whenever they're loud and I tell them to stop, they're like, okay, well, we're about to go. And I'm like, you don't have to leave the house. Just why are you loud? Like you could just be at the house and not be loud. You could have friends over and not be loud. It, like you don't have to be loud. That's the thing. But you know, we're going to be out. We're going to have our vision board dreams manifesting, coming true, coming to fruition very soon. Very soon. You stay tuned. Y'all heard it here first. Bow, 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 and I'm done. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this vlog. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming along. Thank you guys for watching the last vlog. I hope y'all tapped into this vlog if you made it this far. 
leave me a fire emoji if you made it this fucking far like leave me a fire emoji because you are what the shit um so yeah <laughs> Uh, but I hope you guys like it. Like I said, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. And I will see you guys in my next week's video. Next week will be a lot more entertaining because y'all finna see me lit, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going on vacation next week. So, y'all will see that. And I will take y'all along the journey. But, yeah, until then, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, love you guys so much. Bye.